Cool, so as we go, let Chuck know if you have any questions. Because he actually designed this place. <laughs> but in the meantime, I'll kick it off with a couple of things. Uh, we're going to talk about the uh, the food and stuff that's inside here. The dining establishment, all the different, we have 12 different food stations across the campus. We have seven just in here. We're going to talk about that when we get inside. Right over here is uh, the whole, this is all Lexus over here. This is the Lexus lobby. So just like you came in the main lobby up front with the Toyota, this will be Lexus's side over here. And we're going to go this way. And you'll see as we go through the tour, uh, everything has kind of been selected with purpose. All of the fauna that you see is local indigenous to Texas. Some of it is just helping the monarch butterflies, which I guess are the classic monarch butterfly population. The standards are a little higher. Yes, yes. And they're obviously all different levels, this company, Sodexo. So Sodexo Magic. Sodexo partnered with Magic Johnson. And Magic oh, Johnson's company yeah, that's is. Cool. I didn't realize. That. Yeah, I that's guess he awesome. takes companies like Sodexo, ups their ante, makes them even more profitable, looks huh. at their business model, and makes a whole big company out of it. And so now Sodexo Magic is who Toyota partnered with to do all the new shirts. That's yeah. cool. So, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the food hall. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So they have four head chefs, an on-site catering kitchen, like I said, 12 different food service areas. Just in here, which is the Lone Star Commons, we have seven different food stations. All different food from 
from the world, Thai, Mexican, Indian, barbecue, pizza, sushi, all that good stuff. You drive Legacy West Side That's right. <laughs> Two floors, seats up to a thousand people. Just in here, essential to the campus. So we're going to go right back in here. We're actually going to go down these stairs right here.
right there you go, see? We need to move it along. There oh, you go. <laughs> okay. So let's see, what have I not told you? 125 coffee machines. Oh, very good. So you're, not, you're going to be caffeinated. Wow. You grab and go program. Everything, of course, is recycled. And then we're going to have 105 on site hospitality and food service staff, too. So wow. even more. Yeah. So that's how we're servicing the body. And this whole order right here is going to continue next. Sandra? Yeah. As so you can uh, see, we're uh, still under construction here. Yeah. Yeah. This is where we promote the physical wellness. So come on this way and let me show you. Now, this whole building was designed with people in mind. And one of those facets of uh, healthy and wellness is uh, obviously what you put into your body. So this is right over here. This is the prickly pear. This is a juice bar. It's an all natural juice bar. You can have smoothies, but you can also have a light snack throughout the day. There's a nice little sitting area for you to just take your mind off things and just kind of recharge. Now, if you need a little bit more of a pick-me-up, like maybe like a workout, let me show you. We have a state-of-the-art 22,900 square feet of fitness center right over here. It's carb light, so it's going to have all the amenities like a shower, it's going to have lockers, and it's, uh, you can see there's a two-story climbing wall. It has over 80 elliptical machines. There's elliptical treadmills. Yes, that's a climbing wall. And there's three actual studios that is like fun. cycling classes. You'll be opening the right of the name July 17th. Like I said, it is fair the arts for features. Um, top brand names like Cybex. Um, also, it has Matrix equipment. And like I said, three studios with um, classes as well. Now, the fitness center will operate for 5.30 in the checking, free checking with 
um, no direct deposit required, no balance required. Uh, you also get to um, take out personal loans, long-term, short-term, even uh, mortgage loans. So you can get all of that done here um, on, in this corridor on campus. So let's make our way over here. We've got some more exciting, fun features. Do you guys have any questions so far? How are you Hello. enjoying the tour? Hello. Is it nice? Yeah. So over here, not only are you going to be physically a fit, uh, you're going to be financially and physically fit because you have the um, wellness center. It's actually a clinic that you have. It's a fully staffed clinic. It's open from Monday through Friday. 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. It has a staff of uh, an RN, a physician, and even a medical assistant. And there are full-time staff there. They even have six exam rooms, one lab. Say hi. Oh, you're you're a physical exam. So all of that's going to be very convenient. Is the cost here. of that included or is that in, with insurance? It's with the insurance, yes. Okay. And then when here, you'll notice a mini like CVS. So it's a convenience store that's located just minutes from your desk. You can, instead of going to uh, Walgreens or you know pulling in and driving away, you can just pop into the convenience store that's located here in the West Corridor and uh, pick up whatever you need. There's over 2,500 items for you to purchase. As you can see there, if you're running low on your slim fast or even if you went to the gym and then you need shampoo, you've got all that. Um, very accessible here. And then back there, that look, that little window, that's going to be your pharmacy. So you have in-house pharmacy. You can fill your uh, maintenance prescriptions and then any prescriptions that you have that come up from whether you're taking an exam or not. So there you have it. So a lot of fun features here along this corridor. Are there any way to order this? Yes. 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 So Ian Murphy. And on behalf of Toyota, I'd like to welcome you to our North American headquarters. Our Yay! <laughs> For this part of the tour, we're going to introduce you to our work environment, both individual and collaborative. So first, I'm going to walk you through the Wayfinder, located near your elevators. So you can use this to find a room. Find a place on campus. Check the weather. Check the traffic. Wow. Give some feedback or just check the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's always helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't always have time to take out your phone and look at right. your watch. You know, it's really fun. That's all the answers. You like to go this way, I'll walk into the workspace. Very nice. In the meeting room? All right, each workstation has a sit-stand station. Uh, if you'd like to see an example, this is a sitting station. This is a standing station. They all have an equal amount of both personal and individual space. The windows are built both inside and with inside and outside walls that let in natural light. 
This area is built uniquely to have both collaborative and individual spaces, which allows you to work with your own style. In the collaborative area, you can, uh, it has a break room that comes with many appliances such as a microwave, refrigerator, and coffee maker. One interesting fact about this area is it can hold up to 6,500 people, including our up to 4,000 team members, visitors, and contractors. So if you don't mind, Chris can take it from here. He'll take you to the next part of your tour. Uh, I had a quick heard? question. Are the desks assigned? Is this assigned seating? That is a good question. I don't think I know the answer to that. Because I feel like yes, someone told me, yes, I feel like Julia told me it was assigned. It assigned. Yeah. Yes. assigned or they get to pick? That's, that's the question. That is a good question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know once they have a desk, it's theirs. It's a process of joint collaboration. There you go. It's collaborative. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But once you have a desk, it is your desk. Yeah, this is your desk. That's, that's your and I do desk. think that's interesting because I know that Toyota wanted to have open seating, but then it was kind of a pushback, and I know that people kind of wanted their own seat, and as a person, I get that. Right. And I think it's nice that you guys have a combination of, I have my own seat, mm -hmm. and also and I have the collaborative time. spaces, exactly. and I think right. that's perfect. Yeah. It's about a 50-50 space. Yeah, it is. Between my space and we <laughs> space. Yeah. And did we mention the pit stops, too? Yeah. Oh, they took pit stops. Out. Oh, there. Forget about that. Yeah, no such thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Chris will take it from here. Thank you. What a beautiful view. Gosh, I would have been arguing over the, the window view. So it's, it's it just see any logos. It's just the reference to okay. all of it without being any of it. Ah, you got it. there it is. Is it I true like that it. it was originally designed as a circle? No. Oh, never. then so that was never wrong. Never. No, never, not never. that the logo was designed as a circle, but that was designed as a circle. No, it was no. always an oval. Always, always, always. Proportionate logo. And that makes sense. Yeah. Well, this is so beautiful. I don't even know where to walk. I, it's so beautiful. This is looking sad. talking about is the hole here it's an oval. oh that hole it's an oval um, to match the Lexus and Toyota logos So beautiful. 
It's like a little park in the middle of the building. It's a little bit over three acres. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's not so little. You know, no, small it's small oversized for the next building. But it, but it's little mini golf. Yeah, yeah. And the whole compound is like 100 acres. And a lot of that will be recaptured to the west when all the uh, construction trailers go away. Uh -huh. I mean, there's, there's additional land in the future. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit of 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 a if we hold up from this way, it's just going to be a Yeah, like So it's going to be some garden here. Actually, part of this off with limited shade running plants and limited acres, 22.1 million square feet. We talk about 4,000 different team members, parking for up to 8,000 vehicles, more than 5 million man hours so far building this place. I'll tell you about that down there. Oh, do you know what percentage, Chuck, is being, of all the construction is being recycled? I had heard 75%. Yeah, that's going to be a goal in terms of waste. Yeah. Yeah, but a lot of the building's materials are recyclable just in and of themselves. Yeah. So I think 75% is the part number part that we seem to be zeroing in on. Yeah. As is built yeah. of and is being made of recycled materials. And most of the materials that built this project came within 500 miles of here. Right, everything pretty local. Just so that you didn't have to ship it too far, you know, just for fuel consumption and also buying local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very dedicated to Texas. Like we talked about, all the stuff is very Texan. Yeah, I mean, I've done other projects where we literally ship material all over the planet to yeah. get to to North Texas, but not not. So seventy five percent of the building materials have been recycled, but also seventy five percent of the waste is going to be recyclable. Maybe more than that on the waste. I, that's something I'd have to go ask the contractor because they're responsible for I have 99% of construction waste is being diverted from landfills. Which which is almost 100% of the So product. it's recyclable or it's yeah. put into post-consumer other stuff. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things they do with it. Yeah, we're really reusing it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. That's good. I saw that. I'll tell you about that downstairs. Do you guys have any questions or anything? I'm kind of running through my tidbits, so. The one billion, one million, no, one billion, that's the construction cost, the project cost? Uh, the, yes, I believe that's what they're expecting to spend by the time the place is finished. Okay. That's so, what they're on track for, and that's what they budgeted for. Okay. One billion dollars. Yeah. yeah. Not one million. No, not one, one million. million. One, <laughs> one million. million. <laughs> I was about to do the Dr. Yeah. Evil. Yeah. Of course. So how can <laughs> you not? <laughs> Some, somebody had to do that. <laughs> Oh, I nearly missed the door. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, that, that that right there. Actually, you can see the roof is the pavilion, the Sequoia Pavilion, where we saw oh. you saw the presentation. Oh, I and see. Just beyond that is the Lexus there. Yeah. Ah, very nice. Very It's, it, when we first got here, it's like, oh gosh, but then once you learn yeah. it, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it is. It's really cool. Exactly. 
Although I'm navigationally a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I really am. Oh, yeah, everybody's got a few other little things we do. Yes, awesome, awesome. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got Lexus. Yes, yes. Well, you have and one just one to Yeah. You could do that next, probably. That's what we were wondering. Are you going to say something? Slow down. It's brand new. Philip, come on! We're doing Frisco 13 minutes, 25 years. Okay. With a vengeance, you know, we do lots and lots of schools all over the area. Unlike the elevator on the other side, this we refer to as a lift. This is a lift? Ah, like to be a little more British. 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 You're videotaping this whole tour, I see. We're live Facebooking. Wow. Oh, live Facebooking, wow. It's even better. No pressure, no pressure. Is it uh, one elevator or two? Wait, this is it. Is this one elevator load or two? This is it. This is, this is, is it? Is it? Oh, man. Well, welcome to the eastern corridor of the loop here. There's three main things in this area. Um, one is one of the areas you've already been into, which is the Sequoia Pavilion, which is above us right over there. Um, this is the lower level. This area will also be used on every second Wednesday of the month for employee 100 yard dash competitions. Oh <laughs> so if you do work here, make sure, you, make sure you leave the heels at home and bring the sneakers every second Wednesday at lunchtime. Uh, over to the left here, where there's uh, signified with this blue wall, this is the Twitter Knowledge Center. Now, this is going to be an area where employees are going to receive additional training, whether you've already been working here for a while or a new employee. It's going to be over in this area. That area has 16 rooms in it um, that'll hold uh, between 10 and 70 people. I know a lot of people have been working at looking at this uh, piece of art here as well. Uh, great piece, but there's also some functionality to it. If you look down at the floor, it spells out a word with the light that's coming through. First person uh, wins a fabulous prize. Toyota. It's a good guess. Dry. 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 You can't see it very well. So you were getting knowledge right here. Interesting. Wow. Get knowledge on. You get your knowledge is on right here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, right? And this Whoa. is the number two. Who knew? <laughs> uh, now, if you follow the blue wall around here with Chris, that's going to take you out to the main lobby there. Is that a suggestion or is that what It's in order. <laughs> We're going back to the main lobby. Your choice. Your choice. We're going to wrap up the tour with a little walk through the courtyard, and you guys get to see the eye road. Excellent. And that's how we're going to wrap it up. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Tom. Yes, check with Chris. Compact, smaller than the RAV4. This is kind of a Lexus concept version of that, but uh, you can see it's kind of combining the off-roader with the low coupe sporty yeah. car drive. Yeah. So they're going for a combo off-road sport coupe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think when the car comes out it'll look exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, maybe not quite.
joking. I'm, 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 I'm messing with you. Exactly, yeah. All of a sudden, like, you melt when you... <laughs> I'm just joking with you, Chris. Oh, no, I know. But, yeah. You think you are. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, in 10 years when I'm integrated with an automobile. Exactly. <laughs> Future Toyota four wheel drive crossover. So it's kind of just what it sounds like. It's an idea for a four wheel drive crossover vehicle that you can kind of take off road, take to the ends of the earth. Uh, lots of rugged, unique functionalities inside. Also for like the casual off road hiker, camper, I suppose you want to call Yeah, another kind of cool concept. This kind of a continuation of the Philip can't touch, just stop touching everything. There is a garden. Great to catch up, guys. You too. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Oh, nice. We'll have a look. Yeah. Thank you. Over there, if you missed it, is the fitness facility with a two-story climbing wall. Up here. Here. Two-story climbing wall. So these are iRoads. As a driver, you just 
Just drive it like a regular vehicle. It actually does it all for you. Really? Yeah. 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 I'm afraid yeah. that's yeah. the concept. Yeah. 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 Like, uh, like an enclosed motorcycle or is it? So it's got benefits of motorcycles and cars. So it's got the parking footprint, the RV, the roof, and the door of the house. It's a better safety. Yeah, that's true. Uh, with a motorcycle. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, that's an interesting concept. You know, it's almost... It, it's, it's so good. It's so good. You know, in a way, it's a natural extension of those two vehicles that it's almost surprising. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's being used as a car share. Yeah. Tokyo, Tokyo City. Oh, I don't know. You know, this could be good for us. Absolutely. That's yeah. totally what it's intended for. It has a range of about 30 miles. So you could use it as a commuter as long as you want. Yeah. 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 Potentially. We don't have any timeline. One of the holdups is it's uh, classified differently in various states. Okay, mm -hmm. so kind of golf cart classification. In some states, in other states, it would be a motorcycle. So there's a lot of uh, irregularities between the various states. So it's hard to come up with a timeline with that in mind. Yeah, that must be difficult because you can cross state lines very easily. Right, right. Very cool. But hopefully, I mean, it would fit my lifestyle Monday through Friday. I drive about 12 miles a day and to not burn any fuel in the process. So would it be, it be a case perfect. of you could drive it on um, a road that's like a 40 speed limit? That, that's what I'd imagine. That's what I'd imagine because the top speed's in the mid-30s, so they wouldn't want you on highways with it because you'd cause a traffic hazard. Yeah. So I would imagine it would be relegated to roads of the, yeah. the speed limit and below. So similar to... Car, you know, dry, uh, what is it? It's road like a moped. Ready, road ready golf carts can go up to like 45 miles per hour roads, but they can't go that fast. Okay. They're very fun. Have you ridden one? Oh, yeah. I drove around oh, here and I, I was at the TED Talks with it. I've been all over yeah. the country with it. So. Wow. Yeah. yeah, they're a lot of fun. How much storage do they have? So they've got a good bit of room behind it? the can back seat. I've been asked to keep them closed tonight. Oh, okay. But um, you can see in here there's a little retention net, and you can fit a bag back there. You can actually fit a smaller person back there, but um, it, it, you wouldn't want to do a long drive with it. No, it's like a short ride with a small person. Right, exactly. Okay. Cool, well, thank you. Oh, it's been my pleasure. Did you enjoy the evening? What are they called? I-Roads? They're called the i -road. Yes. Nice. Did you enjoy the evening? Yes, very much. Thank you. Yes. Bandle did a really nice job, huh? Isn't that incredible? Mm -hmm. For sure. Well, thank you. Yes, it's been my pleasure. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the evening. Thank you. Whoa, I just... 